Rio is now about eight weeks old. She's fully recovered since her little mishap at the vet's office, and we've since continued our daily activities. As is typical with all baby mink, she likes to pull little objects she finds out of the water. This time, a small rock captures her interest, and she pulls it out for a better look. Just as a wild baby mink would follow her mother around on hunting trips, Rio follows me around as well. She responds to my voice when I call her, just like a baby mink would its mother when she chirps. This isn't really training, it's simply her following her natural instincts to keep up with her mother. Since I was the one who raised Rio, she considers me her mother and follows me just like she would in nature. I have to be careful not to step on Rio, and that's why I typically go in bare feet, or in this case sandals, so as not to accidentally step on my baby mink. With such a small animal, a little accident could ca easily cause her death or serious injury. Lingoho. That was Rio's first food call outside. Just like the first food call inside, I didn't call her until she was already headed my direction. I gave Rio several more food calls that weren't shown in this video, and then I gave this last one. Because she'd been coming so well, I decided I'd really test her by calling her from a significant distance away while she was running in the opposite direction. As you just saw, she responded perfectly. So I decided that for the next training session, I'd take things a step further by trying to call her from out of a hole. Along with our daily walks and training sessions, Rio and I also take some time out to have some fun. Rio enjoys wrestling with my hands and chasing me around, just like she would one of her siblings. To both help give an outlet to her extra energy, as well as increase her agility and speed, we like to play a game with her toy lure. Rio loves to chase around and wrestle with this toy lure. And it also has an added advantage of giving my hand a rest. Sometimes she gets a little too rambunctious in her play and it starts to get uncomfortable. By encouraging Rio to also play with this toy, it gives her an important outlet that she can bite as hard as she wants. As Rio grows and develops, not only does her strength and agility steadily increase, but her energy levels also significantly increase. The next day, we take Rio for a walk to a beautiful little pond down the street. Our goal for this training session is to test Rio's food call when she's down Blinka in a hole. Blinka ho. Blinka ho. Blinka ho. Blinka ho. Blinka ho. Blinka ho. Before testing Rio's reaction from down in a hole, I gave her a food Girl. call from a good long distance to see if she would at least come to that first.
give me the opportunity to test Rio's recall from out from under a hole, I took her over to a little dock where she had a place to go and hide. Glingo ho! Glingo ho! Glingo ho! Glingo ho! Rio's response to the food call while under the dock was perfect. She responded promptly and quickly amazing. came to me without delay. We're really glad we found it. If we can find some muskrat in it, this would be a sweet place to hunt. After feeding Rio up on her last food call, I made sure to put the harness on before letting her down. Mink with a full stomach have the tendency to crawl into some hole and fall asleep. It probably won't happen the first time you turn a full mink loose, or maybe not the second or the third, but eventually the baby mink will find some comfy place to sleep and you'll be stuck waiting for them to come out of the hole. Now that Rio had shown that she was coming well to the food call under various circumstances, I decided that it was time to start training her to cache. We'll be showing her caching training in the following videos, so stay tuned.